which are now better political as well, a lot, and, uh, and also connected to architecture. And it's a reflection of all the graphic scene, all the graphics in Poland yeah. have done a good. So it's something that is something more prevalent than just the greater nostalgic of it. Yeah, it's yeah. Modern, it's just maybe, behind. maybe it's a more political. But it's not very lots of politics behind it. Yeah, yes. and I, I understand that Trojan horse is a very good, a good way to. Uh, to answer to this, this question about uh, local <laughs> things, local globalization <laughs> and the local, yeah. I mean. Uh, there is a knowledge-based uh, uh, argument to, 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 to link uh, commerce modernism to uh, uh, international context. And uh, you can, from that, elaborate, and you started already, elaborate a very straightforward narrative uh, that will support also your different application for the previous point on. Because it's straight, it's obvious. And, uh, but we've seen that part of it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's not, there are things specific to commerce, uh, also in ornamentation, in style, in this mm -hmm. very short period of time, in the surprise it was. Okay, oh, you have to be the capital city. Come on, <laughs> move <laughs> forward. So this optimism, all the things you already identified and that did a good narrative. At the same time, it's not completely specific because statehood in architecture in Central Eastern Europe in the 20s, it happened elsewhere. Uh, it happened in Yugoslavia. In, uh, in, it happened in che Czechoslovakia, it happened uh, in, in Poland, so it happened in Romania as well. So uh, uh, this, this connection is as a broader context, and then the broader uh, relation between local version of modernism, or whatever we call modernism, functionalism, post Bauhaus, whatever, uh, and the places in the international style were very strong because of the fairs, because of the international artist movement like the Union des Artistes Modernes, uh, because of the uh, travels, the Corbusier traveled to Germany, then to Poland, then to Soviet Union, Mars Stalin to Czechoslovakia to Soviet Union. Everybody was traveling all the time, and everybody was known already at that time, much more than it is now. So this part, I think, is quite straightforward. What is more, I think, the challenge is of interpretation as itself is to connect this international story and this national story to the story of people who live in, who work in front, <laughs> who pass by those buildings, who have no much clue about that. It's not their experience, but the experience they have is part of the history of those buildings, even if they demand an original furniture or detail to, re to remove it and put something terrible instead. That's part of the history of the building. Uh, I mm -hmm. just want to ask, uh, you're right, and uh, you haven't participated in the morning, but uh, uh, as you can understand, we had uh, uh, a presentation and discussion a bit on uh, modernism inspired new design. And what is the situation in Lithuania because you work in this field? Uh, do we have a, like furniture, ceramics, or something which is uh, like where this, the local aspect is important. I think now it's moving. <laughs> uh, when we started to, to talk about the modern architecture that happened not because of the wireless and not because of others a few years ago, actually what we see that the designers grab up to the idea. And uh, recently, for example, we have this uh, uh, ladies who works and make uh, the um, out of uh, <laughs> a concrete, maybe concrete. Yeah, concrete. Did you want to talk about concrete <laughs> with a parting?